Good morning, Nottinghamshire Madness fans. First, I'd like to give a big thumbs up to the people that have asked how I fastened my S bag to the seat post stroke saddle of my Brompton Expedition bike. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do that. As you can see, I have a standard Brompton luggage block fastened to a seat post which dangles down from the underside of the saddle and I use two standard metal saddle mounting brackets. Just drop the S bag on so you can see how things work. It fits on there as snug as a bug. There's a the spacing between the two seat posts allows the full drop of the Brompton seat post in the folded position. The bag sits nicely above my rack sack. Up front, I do have the Brompton tea bag, and that completes my touring setup. I don't carry a lot of weight in the S bag, it's normally just a, a day bag for my snacks, my bits and bobs and for my daily shopping needs before I set up camp. So all the packing in the other two bags doesn't get disturbed. We work in the caravan today and I'll show you how I made the components and put them together to fasten the, the S bag in place. As you can see, a few little bits and bobs. I'll just set the camera, I think you'll be able to see me and what I'm doing, hopefully anyway, that's the idea. So, let's start with a standard Brompton saddle. In this case, it's off the B75. I've used two pressed metal seat mounting brackets, one black, one silver. I've used different colours so you can see on the video what's, what's, what's happening. Um, it's important that you use two of these of the same manufacturer because then there'll be an identical pressing and it won't give any extra stress on the seat rails of the saddle. I think having the S-Bag mounted like this doesn't give too much more stress on the seat rails anyway because I'm, I'm a heavy bloke. This carries me. I've got the S-Bag on here which doesn't weigh a lot. It only has a bit of baguette, some food, some drink, bottle of wine or whatever before I get to camp. For my shopping. So the first thing you need is a short standard bicycle chrome steel seat post and I think this is you can't read upside down and cross lines over 150 millimeters long. You also need a standard Brompton front luggage block. This kit comes with socket head Allen screws. The ones supplied in the kit won't be long enough for this modification. I use 5mm and I believe I do have to just open the holes with a five millimeter drill to give it a bit more clearance. I think the screws fit through the bracket. But I don't think, I can't, I seem to remember they don't go through the, the plastic. Anyway, be prepared to open those up with a five millimeter drill. And again, the length of the, of the socket head screw needs to be 30 millimeters. The other thing you need are called rib nuts and essentially they are what they say 
they are a rivet and a nut and you insert those in this case a seven millimeter hole which is drilled into the seat tube rivet nut to supply a tool to do the job and you screw the rivet nut on pop it through the hole and as you squeeze the tool it pulls the rivet together and essentially works like a pot rivet you can fit these with a screw and a nut and a washer and juggy pokery and I've, I haven't done that but anybody who knows an electrician will have should, should have one of these because they're quite a common thing to, to use in electrical cabinets I've purchased this for doing bikes basically this sort of thing it was worth it for me because I was doing more than one and the, and the convenience of being able to do that work myself is far outweighs the expensive of purchasing the kit so that's a rivet nut this is an aluminium rivet nut they do come in steel I think obviously steel or rust but the aluminium ones are also easy to squeeze together and are capable of or more than capable of, of doing the job so after we fitted the rivet nuts to the seat post The seat post is obviously going to dangle out of the saddle. The Rompton carrier block fits that way up, obviously because of the V-shape that where it carries the the bag, the mounting on the bag. So we need to put these two together. Just locate those in there. Spin them up with an Allen key. Maximum load on the mount on the Brompton block is 10 kilo. Um, I don't know what I carry in that. A bottle of wine, some cheese, some bread, some biscuits, some pan of chocolate for the morning breakfast, probably a carton of orange juice, just a general stuff to, to get you through the night in, in camp. So that is fastened together. I don't know if anybody have you, have you, have you fitted these. This is a little bit that holds the back the bag in place so we'll pop that pop that on i'm sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly but i'll try to make my videos wobbly anyway so so that screws in there not like that though sorry you can't see what i'm doing can you notice one of the most difficult things about Doing videos is working so you can see what I'm doing. So there we have the Brompton luggage block mounted to 150mm standard chrome steel seat post. That literally slips into the saddle and hey presto, that's job done. I think the seat, this block is about... Fifteen pounds nowadays. The rivet nuts are pennies, but you do need rivet nuts. I think you could actually use a nut and a washer and, and slide a nut in there on your finger and tighten it up. I haven't tried that. I, I just use rivet nuts because I think it's it's, it's it's easy. But you can quite easily get your finger in the seat tube. So therefore, I guess you could put a standard nut. On your finger, slide it in and pick up the screws and screw it in. In that case, all you have to do then is, is drill two, two five millimeter holes. Again, I, I haven't, I haven't tried that. But that is it. Simple, simple, easy, convenient, and does the job. Screwdriver tip next. Little standard screwdriver. The longer your screwdriver when you're doing the job. The easier it is to put in the screw. So if you're using a real short stubby screwdriver, it's hard work. Use a nice handful of screwdriver, it'll be easier. 
use a long screwdriver the screw will be so much easier to put in because as you twist you have so much movement and purchase top, top tip something that's tight the longer screwdriver correct fit the better so that's what I use here to um, to put the, the mounting block on the saddle let's have a look back at the bike I'll just take you back outside lovely May day a bit wet and again I just set the camera there for a second and I'll take the bag off so easy one little thing I did do which I can show you here is if it's not too dark on this rear mounting dress steel mounting I did cut a little bit off so I could slide this a bit further back on the saddle it just gives me a bit more lateral movement for riding position because your riding position is set quite a way back I'm more than capable of coping with that I don't do professional bike fit I just get on and ride my bike and adjust things and move things to suit as I, as I go along just a quick pan around a little touring bike oh, the, the modern the modern term is bike packing so I'll just go out for a bike ride with my tent and my gear and go camping and do whatever or B&B Anyway, thank you for watching guys. There's plenty of room to sit on the saddle. You're not sat on the handle. Please don't get in your way. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like, give me a thumbs up. Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.